There is always one part of the body that we are not always confident about. Today I'm going to be talking about the flappy arms, also known as the bingo wings. It's a common area of concern with lots of women and it can be a big issue for younger women as well. It really affects the way we dress, the way we feel and we want to wear nice and lovely clothes but often it really restricts us from showing our arms. As you can see, I have a flappy hams. Almost every woman has some excess skin under their hams. Sometimes we all get a little bit of jigglings. I try as much as possible to work out, but I still struggle with keeping my hams as stone as they once were. I won't give up working out and I won't let these jigglings stop me from dressing. But I have decided that my hams will simply never be as stone as they once were. So, do you struggle with this part of the body too? And if yes, and you do not know how to cover your flappy hams, then I have collected some fashion tips that will easily help you disguise what you do not really like and how to use sleeve choices to minimize your fat arms and still look stylish. <music> Back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. I'm Benita, I'm an image consultant and visual branding and I help women create outfits so they have a wardrobe they love. Just before we start, if you're new to my channel, I would appreciate if you can please subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell. It's totally free and it really helps me to continue producing this video for you. When it comes to looking and feeling your best in clothing, I think underwear are so important and many of us don't give them a second thought. And this is my first tip. It's all about finding your perfect bra. An ill-fitting bra has the potential to cause more damage to your overall look than anything else. Not only will a wrong size bra cause side bodies and fast spills under your arms, but will also make your but will also make you feel uncomfortable all the time. So basically, when it comes to fashion tips for fat arms, this is what I will tell you. You need to create space for your arm holes and make sure that your arm holes are loose. If your arm holes are tight, side bodies and spill will be a common phenomenon. Instead, opt for something that has a comfortable arm holes that give enough breathing space and do not restrict your arm movements. Tip number two, layer up. Adding an extra layer to your outfit is another way to hide the flappy arm and it's also a beautiful way to add styles to your look. Come winter and you have even more layering options. So how do you layer up? If you have a spaghetti striped dress or top, you can pair it up with different kinds of jacket, woolen shrugs, kimono, blazers or cardigan. Think about wearing a dark clock sleeve shirt and sleeveless jacket. This outfit does two things. One, the darker color has a slimming effect on your arms. And two, the sleeveless jacket has the same effect, which makes your arm look slimmer and it also elongates your figure. Tip number three, if you have a large arms, your aim is to draw attention away from your flappy arms to your chest. So how do you achieve this? Wear a structured jacket with white or chalky collar because it adds more bulk to your chest which makes your arm look slimmer and will make your overall shape look smarter. Tip number four, choose a cutaway shoulder. If you choose to wear sleeveless, make sure the arm holes are cut away to show a substantial amount of shoulder. With more shoulder showing, it will make your arm look slicker and longer. Tip number five, think about wearing prints. If you have a flappy hams, then forget about flashy print and stretch fabrics. A stretch print on the hands looks very ridiculous and can bring a lot of discomfort. Also, the more prints, the wider the hands will look. So choose clothes made of thicker fabrics that do not stretch very much on the body. And because you want to shift attention away from the flappy arms, it's best to choose fabrics or to choose top 
where there is no prints at all in the ant area. And if you decide you want to go for a top with print, choose one with small prints. Tip number six, if you have a fat arm and you want your arms to look slimmer, then darker colors are the best choices for tops. The opposite is true. That is, if you wear bright colors on top, then more attention is drawn to your top. So be very cautious of brighter tops if you do not want your arms to be the focus of the outfit. Tip number seven, wear a v-neck dress or top. Yes, I know what you're thinking. What has neckline got to do with sleeves? The reason is that wearing a v-neckline will highlight your collarbone and will also create the illusion of a longer neck. Besides, since your arms and your neckline fall in the same horizontal line, the whole effect will make people to stare on your neckline and not your arm. So try a v-neck dress and make sure that the stripes are not digging into your shoulder. Also, I have noticed that most women with bigger arms also have big boobs, which is one of the best assets. So think about wearing a v-neck top to draw attention to your bust and your arms will be much less noticeable. I made a video on tops to wear to downplay a big breast. Very interesting video. If you have a big breast and you also have a flappy arms, I would suggest watch that video so you'll be able to create a balanced look for yourself. I'm going to drop a link to the video below the description box. Also, if you like this kind of video, please subscribe to my channel. So let's move on to the next tip, which is tip number eight, wear off shoulder top. Regardless of what type of body shape you have, most women have great shoulders. So what you're trying to achieve is drawing attention away from your flappy arms and bringing it up towards your shoulders. And the best way to achieve this goal is to wear off the shoulder design to cover the wide area of your arms with an open necklines to show a bit of a skin. Do you understand? So tip number nine, choose a cold shoulder look. And this is one of my favorites. Do you know why it's my favorite? Because it exposes your shoulders, but you still have your sleeves to hide. You see, have sleeves to hide under the ham heaviness. So the cold shoulder design is the perfect way to give a little pickable of your shoulders, but still covering your arms. So let's move on to talk about the specific sleeves to look out for, which brings me to the next tip, tip number 10. So tip number 10 is to wear three quarter sleeves, bracelet sleeve, waistline sleeve, and long sleeves. These are all good choices. And as of the sleeves, the three quarter sleeves are the best because it conceals the every look of your arms. And it also ends at the arms in such a way that the narrow part is visible, making your arms look slimmer. But if you can't find a ready-made three quarter sleeves, don't worry, get yourself a full button down shirt and roll your sleeves up at the elbow. This will give you a cheek look. Tip number seven, wear a floater sleeve. Who says you can add interest to your sleeves? The floater sleeve is an option to minimize your upper arms, but it can also add visual weight to your arms. So this is a perfect example of a floater sleeve. And it's, it, I would say, I love the sleeve because it allows me to highlight the part of my hands that I feel most confident about and is, which is the slimmest part of my hands. And it also covers up with a little ruffle the parts of the arm that I feel a little bit insecure about. It's feminine and it's a great trick if you struggle with this area as well. Tip number 12, wear wide voluminous sleeve. If you choose to wear a long sleeve, keep your sleeve loose, wide and voluminous. So these are the sleeves name you need to know. Kimono sleeves, bell sleeves, dormant sleeves, bishop sleeves, and balloon sleeves. All the sleeves look great and will be very helpful, most especially if you have a fat arm. Also, punch your top with batwing type sleeves, covering the upper half of your arms also looks stylish. These are all beautiful stylish sleeves and will help to conceal bingo wigs. Tip number 13. Wear elbow length sleeve. 
These sleeves are similar in length to roll up sleeves and it stop right at the bend of your elbow, considering the entire upper arms. But you do want to make sure that the sleeve fits slightly loose to your arms and not tight. Tip number 14. Choose a floaty shell sleeve or a lace sleeve that ends at the elbow, forearm or wrist. When you wear a shell sleeve or a lace sleeve, it will make the flappy arms much less noticeable. And this is the perfect choice for a dressy occasion like parties where you don't want your arms to be totally covered and you don't want them completely exposed, which is a great option to cover up your arms. And the last thing I want to talk about is pile of accessories and focus away. So instead of focusing on the parts that you don't like, try to play up the parts that you do. You can do this by wearing bold accessories that draw attention to your asset and distract from your arms. If you love your waistline, flaunt it by wearing wide belts with details. A chunky pair of fearing highlights your necklines why a statement necklace puts the spotlight at your collarbone and bust. All that being said, don't rule out an outfit just because of your arms. Fashion works in a mysterious way and regardless of your style tips and, and regardless of the style tips you see on social media platform, a great sense of personal style and confidence can make any outfit look amazing. Thanks for watching this video and I would like to read in the comment what you think about this video and what you find useful and what you would like to hear more of so I can keep bringing you style tips and tricks that will make you look beautiful, sexy and elegant. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And like this video, share it to your friends, family and post it on social media platform. Also, my Instagram ID has been on the screen all through this video so you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram just in case you may want to see pieces I put together. It's your girl Benita until next time you take care of yourself and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!